Stone series, uh, Beacon series on education intelligence. We're going to talk about the Treadstone 71 cyber intelligence capability maturity model. Hi, this is Jeff Barden from Treadstone 71. So let's uh, get right into the, the maturity model that we've been building. And we've, we've taken this uh, as compared against the International Association for Intelligence Education Standards for Intelligence Analyst Initial Training. And we've enhanced it to go beyond the initial training and to include real operational elements of, of uh, the collection and the intelligence lifecycle and, uh, and, and built this uh, around our common body of knowledge that we've put together over the last nine plus years of, of uh, teaching these classes, executing program builds, building uh, strategic plans, as well as doing uh, live uh, research, uh, whether for the corporation or for other organizations. So when we take a look at this, we, we decided that introduction to, uh, to intelligence was definitely an area to start, and we base our life cycle uh, on some of the baseline elements of understanding what intelligence is and what it is not. We talk about priority intelligence requirements and specific information requirements. Then we get into stakeholder management, where we want to understand as much as possible about our stakeholders. Uh, again, this is a know your professor, get an A type of environment. So you definitely need to know and understand your stakeholders, what they know about intelligence, what they know about the subject matter they're asking about. Are they asking the correct questions? How they like to receive information? What's their attitudes around uh, intelligence and what you're providing them? The collection management side gets back into the PIRs and SIRs we mentioned, but also formates a, a formulates a very structured approach to building a collection plan uh, before you go out and start your collection. It's much like an operations order in the military or a project plan. It's very detailed uh, when you're building different types of projects. You need to have this type of plan to lay out the who, what, where, when, why, and how, as well as your targets, your collection tools and methods, basically your kit before you go forward. Then we get into collection and maturity around our collection area, which includes requirements management and mission management, uh, where we get into our the existing resources, what we have, the skills we have with them, and how we're going to assign them with certain targets that uh, we've developed in our collection plan and what tools to use, at least initially. This can also is not only open source tool sets, but uh, and internal data feeds, vendor feeds through a threat intel platform and the like uh, from that perspective. We also get into situational awareness and how this can impact uh, your intelligence flow and your life cycle, as well as the intelligence can drive that situational awareness that you can feed back into your information security team, as well as aligning it with uh, your uh, your corporate competitive intelligence, business intelligence, and physical intelligence. Then we get into a few more of the softer skills around critical thinking, creative thinking, and cognitive bias. Three very important areas that are needed uh, to build a, a solid intelligence analyst and analyst, analyst program. The critical thinking, we get into standards, as well as uh, traits that we want to build maturity for, different types of questions we're going to ask and try and teach people a little more about how to think critically. The creative thinking gets into outside the boundary type of brainstorming activities, while cognitive biases are, are is a, an area that we want to focus on so the analysts can understand their own as well as others' biases and, uh, and be aware of them it's, uh, and understand them and how they're used and shouldn't be used and how you can actually identify them throughout the intelligence life cycle. We get into structured analytic techniques. These are very structured techniques and methods needed to combine with intuition to help us to organize, collect our data, deal with assumptions and indicators, look at multiple hypotheses and scenarios, generation, quadrant crunching, as well as uh, force field analysis, pre-mortem assessment, outside and thinking, and the like there. The production side, we get into evaluation of our, our information and data, admiralty scoring, and, and looking at credibility, reliability, relevance of our information, how we infer, deduce, uh, we get into inductive, deductive, abductive reasoning, and how to measure people's capabilities there. Then we take us into analysis and analytic issues and 14 different types of analysis. Analytic writing takes you through a structured approach that's used to, to be very clear and concise. And we measure you in that area as well as uh, how to write to inform, not to impress. And then we'll also build a maturity around uh, your ports and your briefing models. The integration piece really ties into how to build out an, an intelligence model that fully integrates with the organization from top to bottom and from left to right so that you're fully tied to your security operations, your incident response, as well as, again, your uh, competitive business intelligence as well as physical, and then you're feeding not only to the C-suite, but multiple different departments and levels and how this integrates in from data flow inside and out. 
The administration side goes into strategic planning, program planning, standard operating procedures, process flows, metrics, CSF KPIs, where it makes sense within the intelligence lifecycle. Argument mapping comes into play, where we're looking at uh, how to uh, settle disputes or uh, differences, and it takes you through a structured approach there as well. The Threat Intel platform is another function where we get into more of the tool set side and how to go about uh, selecting, maturing your platform, and how, where you stand within this uh, this particular one to five cycle in the CMM. And then we get into sharing, uh, where we look at uh, information sharing, mostly from an internal perspective and building your own information sharing in ISAC internally, so it's very contextually aware. And then we get into case studies and hands-on activities, tabletop exercises to help you build this out and determine where you are maturity-wise. So these are the areas that uh, we focus on very heavily in our capability and maturity model as we measure uh, organizations' effectiveness and where they stand with respect to the uh, this in-depth CMM. A little further, just to know if you remember your, your level one through five from initial and repeatable and defined and managed, uh, as well as optimizing. Now, what things that we get into here is is that uh, there is definitely an area where you want to to achieve, and we try and be very pragmatic and, and practical with respect to moving you ahead to which level makes sense for you. Throw into intelligence, the stakeholder management, collection management, structured techniques, and analytic writing, and these are some of the areas that you're measured measured against in the Treadstone 71. Uh, cyber intelligence capability and maturity model. They're just examples here to give you an idea of where we measure. Now, again, to try and achieve a five is, is uh, admirable, but it may not be cost effective. So let's take a look. Uh, we usually try and uh, work with you to establish a uh, initial six month plan. Then we go 12, 18, 24, 30 month, 36 month plans uh, based on uh, the areas that we're going to measure again, as you see here on the left. And it can be anywhere from uh, an initial up to uh, fully uh, optimized if you wanted to. You notice we don't put uh, optimized in here as high as we really go as managed. It's just an example table what it might look like. On the other we look at um, uh, optimization as being a high cost, uh, diminishing return on investment effort. For example, we, we really believe that uh, it makes sense to focus more on somewhere between the define and the manage, the three and the four, because beyond that, the spend goes significantly higher uh, for minimal gain. So um, if people want to get to an unoptimized, they might, at least for a point in time, uh, they might get there. And that point in time is usually uh, uh, fairly short because to maintain that level is significant. That operational tempo, per se, with respect to intelligence is hard to achieve. So in these different areas, over 36 months or a certain period of time, we usually figure around anywhere from 18 to 24 months is when you start to hit that define and manage level. And that usually makes sense to try and maintain that level as much as possible. And the maintenance in that area is much cheaper than to try to achieve beyond managed and to optimize and to keep that. So uh, keep that in mind. This is our, our practical and pragmatic. If others are trying to push you to uh, manage or optimize and sell you on that, know that the cost will go up significantly for minimal gains as you go forward on this. You may choose that you don't want to be measured against all the different areas within the CMM. That's fine as well. You may believe that uh, a phased approach, practical and pragmatic, of course, as well as choosing which areas you want to be measured against that fits your organization, your culture, and your needs. So you don't have to be measured against all areas. You can actually uh, uh, work with us and we'll select uh, with you the right ones that fit your culture and the needs of your stakeholders and your leadership. Together over uh, about nine, ten years based on our common body of knowledge, we find this maturity model to be very effective out there. We've even gone out and had it uh, as a registered copyright uh, with the U.S. government and found that uh, it's been very effective in our use in various organizations around the globe. Again, this is Jeff Barton. Hope this has helped out uh, or helped you out a lot. Uh, if, if you're interested in the actual model, send an email from a corporate account, not a Hotmail or a Gmail, to OSINT at Treadstone71.com. Uh, as long as uh, uh, you're interested in this, we'll try and give you a copy. Thanks very much and have a great day.